Hello you lovely people and welcome back to my channel Cook with Joy. In today's video I am making something that my mom made when I was growing up. It is called zucchini pie or zucchini crisp. The way she did it uh, she had a crust on bottom and crust on top and she did send me her recipe but as usual I looked at her recipe. I kind of looked at several of my personal apple crisp recipes and I also looked up zucchini crisp recipes online and so I kind of combined all of these things together to make a zucchini crisp recipe but I love this idea for dessert it's a little bit healthier and it's great for the fall months as well so I'm excited to share this with you so let me show you what the ingredients are okay for this recipe for the bottom layer you will need obviously some zucchini I would say four to six zucchini Zucchini, depending on the size of them. I buy organic zucchini, which tend to be a bit on the smaller side, so I will be using six. You will also need two tablespoons of Earth Balance vegan butter, juice from one lemon. You will need half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then for the crust, um, I did wanna mention that this recipe is a gluten-free and vegan version of zucchini crisp. So you might notice I have gluten-free oats, gluten-free flour. Um, that is because usually when I make dessert, I make it so that my daughter who is vegan and myself who is gluten-free can eat it. So you can use regular flour if you don't need to be gluten-free. Um, so you need one cup of oats, one cup of gluten-free flour, one half cup of light brown sugar, you need one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and then six tablespoons of this Earth Balance vegan butter. Okay, so to begin with, with this recipe, I am just going to be peeling and cutting the zucchini kind of into bite-sized pieces. And then I will be cooking it on the stove top with the butter, the sugar, and the spices just to cook it down a little bit before I add it to the baking dish. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. I thought I was filming when I was unpackaging the butter, putting it in the pan and letting it melt, but I was not filming at that point. So sorry about that. You just melt the butter in the pan, then you add your zucchini mixture and top it with the lemon juice. And you're just gonna let that cook until the zucchini gets fairly tender. Um, but while the zucchini is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the crust so that is ready to go. The crust is super simple. You just put all the dry ingredients together and mix that well. And then you will add um, the butter. You just kind of cut it in to make a crumbly mixture so that the top is like a crisp. So let's get to working on that. Also, just FYI, in case you noticed, my light brown sugar seems to have two different colors. It's just because um, this bottom one is the newer 
uh, brown sugar that I purchased and it was a different brand and so it was slightly lighter than the older brand that I had purchased so that is why it looks like that. Okay, now the zucchini is tender, and I'm actually going to put it in this deep nine by nine inch baking dish. I'm sure you could spread it thinner in a nine by 13, but I want this to be kind of thicker. And then I'll put the um, crust on top and then put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay, I am so excited about this taste test because I have not had this dessert since I was a child living at home. So I am very excited to see how this turned out. It is so good. It does taste very similar to apple crisp, but it definitely has a different taste to it. I don't know how to describe it. It's very similar to apple crisp, but you can tell they're not apples. <laughs> but I think this dessert would be great topped with vanilla ice cream or maybe some Cool Whip. That would be so good, but I didn't have either of those on hand. But this is for sure one that I will make again. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this zucchini crisp. Let me know if you've ever heard of this dessert or if you have ever tried this dessert before, and let me know if you are going to try my recipe. As always, I really appreciate appreciate you watching until the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye!